Hello and welcome back to the building of the Svensson Jungmeister. There is a saying that if you're afraid of the answer, don't ask the question. And this became very obvious when I posed a question yesterday about the difficulties I was having in rigging this model up. I was very frustrated putting the, getting the model together after a, a long time sitting in storage and I needed to find a way of putting it together at the field that wasn't going to drive me crazy. And the answers that I got, the suggestions that I received on Facebook and on the YouTube channel ranged from less than helpful to extremely helpful. And the extremely helpful came in the form of, really, you have to suck it up because a biplane comes with it additional hassle in terms of rigging but it's worth it to me because I love biplanes. The less than helpful ones still managed to put a smile on my face so no harm was done. Buying a new car especially for this plane isn't really an option nor is buying a trailer for it and if I tell you that the kit actually cost me £30 minus the coal, which costs another £30, I think you'll realise it doesn't really make economic sense to buy a new car to put this model in. However, this is the solution that I've come up with. The pair of wings will remain locked together via the struts. It's a technique that I use with the... Um, Fokker D7 which is a flare kit. It does make storage a little bit clumsy but it's very strong actually. These are steel struts and they, held, they hold the wings really rather rigidly. And this is the sequence that I'm going to employ when I get to the field. I've practiced it in the house a couple of times now and it seems to work well. Easier if you've got a helping hand, but I've managed to do it by myself. So, the pair of wings are slid on to the fuselage from the tail end. The lower wing is locked in place with two nylon bolts, and then the undercarriage is locked in place. Once that's done, four bolts are added to the upper cabin. And at the time that that's done, these struts, wires rather, that come from the lower strut are locked in place. The wires from the upper wing come to one locking point here, which is held in place with a bolt. And that doesn't seem too onerous. It actually works okay. It is involving a little bit more work than if you took a foamy up to the field. But that's the price you pay for this sort of model. So thanks to everybody that's contributed. Even the ones who were keyboard warriors. And the people who made silly suggestions. I don't mind them at all. If it puts a smile on people's faces, I'm fine by that. You can put a smile on my face by liking the videos with a thumbs up and most importantly subscribing because that shares the message of the channel to other people. So if you get the opportunity, get out and get some flying done. If that isn't an option, think about doing some building. It can be extremely creative. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care.